what is going on today folks we are here with one mission and one mission only we are supposed to go back here into this jungle and retrieve the deer stand that we left out from last year go bring it bring it in uh it's probably pretty rusty it needs to be clean i'm going to repaint it i don't do a video on that about how to make a deer stand last basically about forever as long as you do routine maintenance on it i'm kind of show you some of that stuff but basically we're coming back here to retrieve the deer stand and as we go cut us trail we got the hook we got some bug spray just in case there's any wasp or hornets out here we got our snake boots on brand new ones we'll try to break them in today and um just see if we can go ahead and get this done and along the way i brought my fishing pole with me also because along the way there's probably gonna be some really good looking spots back here so as we go up get this thing and take it down we are going to um as we'll find some good looking fishing spots we'll go back and run the buzz bait through them see if there's any big bass pickerel something like that back there so let's get on out here and get into this woods i done douse myself completely all the way over with uh, some skeeter spray keep all the skeeters and the yellow flies off from me and um let's go on back here and get it see you on a bit and hey, look what we found right in the woods some fresh hog doo-doo that was a that was kind of a beast. Look how big them things are like compared to my hand. Big old turds back here eating up all these big old nuts and stuff like that back here. The reason why we're coming back here and getting this stand to move it is because I want to get it out of this area which floods a lot. I mean, it's a great area, got great hogs, stuff like that in it, but it floods a lot back here. So what I want to do, sorry bro, old gangster spiders. What I want to do is I want to move it to the archery only area where I'm going to hunt it back here where there's a lot more, seems to be a lot more deer traffic and a little bit less hog traffic, but it stays dry back there pretty much the whole year. I mean, you'll get, it'll get like a little sloppy, nothing you can't walk through with like some, you know, some decent water boots or heck, even a good set of crocs according to, whoa, all the spiders, it's like the spider kingdom back here right now. It's according to, uh, you know how much rain we got it'll be like a little wet maybe a little marshy but not like like this place will flood and where we're standing in back here when it floods we'll be under like two feet of water so it pretty much makes this whole place if the river gets up unhuntable and who wants a deer stand back somewhere where it is unhuntable for most of the season see the yellow flies are all over me trying to eat me up but hopefully i got enough bug spray on it'll leave me alone so that's really the only purpose for moving this back here because if you look around this like the i'm trying not to disturb too many of these old banana spiders because they're my buddies i like these banana spiders see how big they are i'll show you one right here this is actually kind of a smaller one see him right there ain't he cool look at him he's pretty awesome see how pretty he is they're really good bug eaters, so I try not to disturb their webs and stuff and break them walking through here, even though, as you can see, they're like everywhere up in here. It must be that time of the season for them to really be out and getting what they need done done before uh, fall and winter comes in, because they just kind of disappear during the winter. So I'm assuming they just, they do their thing and then they like hibernate for a little while or something. I'm not exactly sure, but they don't seem to be out and about all year long. This place has changed a little bit since the last time I come back here. So let's figure our way around here. Get on, yellow flies. Dang, aggravating things. Look at this dude right here, y'all. See if y'all tell me what this fast moving dude right here is. What kind of spider is that? He ain't a banana spider. He's something else. He ain't a banana spider, but he's a pretty spider. So we're going to leave him alone, too. I'm under the assumption as far as spiders and snakes, just live and let live they ain't bothering you don't bother them like they go their way i go my way nature takes its course because even poisonous snakes eat a lot of rodents and things as such so i just chill let them chill we go our separate ways back here to the stand and we're gonna move it out somewhere that hopefully we will get more good video this year especially since i got the new crossbow and all that for this year we'll get more video we'll get more deer meat this year because you know me man mullis loves eating some deer meat so that's what the whole game plan is is to try and get 
as much good deer meat as possible. And there she is. It don't look like there's nowhere near as much activity back here now as it was last year. And she's done gotten, just as I figured from sitting back here in this old wet swamp, she's done gotten good and rusty. Ain't nothing we can't fix with a couple of good coats of paint on her. So let's get this thing down and we'll set y'all up over here somewhere where y'all can see. Remember, do not try this at home. I'm a professional. Always check these things out for wasps and stuff before you get around them and up in them because that is a bad day, trust me. I know probably some of you are wondering this never done this before as to why I am putting zip ties onto a deer stand just helps it pull better and not come apart as I'm dragging it because I'm going to be dragging it with the bent sides up we just drag smoother kind of like on this thing right here I'm just to zip tie this thing right here together too that way it doesn't come undone and get all goobered up while I'm trying to do it too. You can get these things at Harbor Freight for basically nothing. Big huge packs of them at Harbor Freight. Or at least that's where I get mine. That's the closest place around here that I get tons of them for dirt cheap. And that just keeps everything together instead of getting all wild and woolly everywhere. Stick that in my pocket. Dude up by this end through all the hog tracks. And... Let's go, homies. Lord, man, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Oh. Lord, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That was not an easy drag through all them weeds and vines and crap. And whew, that sun's blinding me. So we are fishing to, oh my God, my sunglasses are just full of spider webs. Yuck. Oh my God. Just look how sweaty I am from just that walk. It's so hot out here in Georgia right now. Lord. Yeah, we're going to, um, we're going to load the stand up. I was going to try to flip around a couple of times, but I don't have a pair of pliers on me. And I hate to go down there without a pair of pliers on me. So we're going to load this up, grab a bottle of water, take everything to the house, put it out, and grab the cat poles, because I do believe it's getting about that time this evening. We can hit a shady spot on the riverbank. Yeah. And we're going to go catch some catfish this evening and finish up this video. Catching cats. So let's put this baby on here. Oh, I love these old light stands. This thing is actually... An Ameristep stand. I've had this old Ameristep for probably better going on, probably better than 20 years now. I bought this thing when I was still living out the farm out there. So it's been a good one. Let's get this. Here's the new addition to the Cooler family. I bought one of them. They had it on uh, um, clearance at Walmart. It seems to hold ice really, really well. So, we'll get us a good cold bottle of water out of there, and then we'll go hit the bank, try to catch some cats. Let's see. Come here, cooler, cooler, cooler. I need a cold bottle of water, my homie. Look at all of it in there. Big old huge ice packs in there. A little Pedialyte in case I got too dehydrated, but I didn't need it. Big old huge latches made in the USA. Says it's grizzly bear proof, but here in Georgia, we ain't got no grizzly bears. So, let's get on the road. 
Well, we have made our way down to the creek bank. Just as I said, we got the deer stand home, got everything unpacked, got it sitting there. We're gonna pressure wash it, clean it down tomorrow. Probably gonna wire wheel it to get all the rust off from it. Then give us some good coats of paint that we move to the archery area. Sorry about all the noise. This is a super noisy place down here, but there are always some good catfish down here. So yeah, since, I, since I've been in, I think I've done gotten robbed once by a catfish and once by a brim, just trying to get everything ready and situated down here. Hopefully here pretty soon we'll get another good bite and we'll get y'all some catfish on here. I come down here not too long ago, made a really good catfishing video and something got boogered up with the GoPro card. It would not read the format that it was on. See, look at there already. These guys, they're, they're yanking it and letting it go. They're like, they're pecking at it, pecking at it, pecking at it, pecking at it. And I believe it's a bunch of them little channels about like that that's probably doing it. You might have already stole my bait after them two good hits right here. We'll see. Half one on the other. Gonna use up a hole. Time. Oh, I finally caught one slipping. What they get? You know, catfish, it feels like a catfish. No, it's a big old. <laughs> Look at that. Instead of a catata fish, we got us a, a big old sunfish. Big old pretty sunfish. AKA the brim here in Georgia. That jerk got that big old hook in his mouth. I kind of figured that's probably what was down there with us. Pretty good size old brim. Old brim a lima brim a lima lima Hey, buddy. All right. This old do or die here, we'll give them about, about 15, 20 minutes or so. Or the next bait steal. And then we'll be done here. We're going to pack it up and go on home. I'm hungry. I got some chicken waiting on me at home. See y'all back in a second. Let us go do it to it. This is Mullis signing off again from Mullis's Outside again. Thank you all so much for coming along. And if you would, check out some of the other videos up here. I'm glad you could come out today and give it a good try for some catfish. Even though we didn't catch any catfish, we got a pretty good brim and got to go out and get our stand. So we can go ahead and get all that stuff get up, get ready, and do it all up for deer season. See you all in the next one.